guess who saved everything until the last minute again. I'm having a really shitty day, so I'm going to make this quick. The episode that I chose to review today is The Spy Who Came In From The Cool. Now, I didn't write down anything for bad or good. I'm thinking I might just not use that anymore in my review and instead just put all my thoughts down under comments. So here's the comments. I said it's kind of funny how they stumble into so many big plots, like there's all these spy plots that they get involved in just randomly. That's very abnormal for a struggling band, but okay. It's still a cute episode. Um, Honeywell is not very good at his job, and this is very apparent when they're like trying to record the spies. I also wrote down Natasha got away but probably lost her job. So the monkeys aren't very great as spies either, but at least they tried. And then there's just a lot of fun bits, because this was a really good episode. If I had to rate it out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10, it was pretty good. I don't think it was like perfect, like, oh my gosh, I love it, can't live without it, but it was good. I've not been looking at the camera this whole time, oh my gosh. <laughs> so right away from the fun bits, I wrote down one of my favorite scenes, just because I remembered it. Honey and the Bear. I thought it was such a fun name for the two of them. And it's funny to see them just fail at folk singing. <laughs> Mike just threw them right under the bus. It was so clever. Uh, talking to a popsicle part. Davy being surprised that something's rattling in his maracas. Let that sink in. They're playing a gig. He's like, there's something rattling around in there. Oh shit, they're maracas. <laughs> I know it was one of those things where it's like, oh, it sounds different than normal, but like, they're supposed to rattle around. Anyways, never noticed that before. Um, could have sworn it was Valerie Carey's in the crowd at the Vincent Van Gogh. Those shots were really... Sorry, I'm very tired today. The shots were very quick moving, so I'm not 110% sure, but I'm pretty sure. The interviews were fantastic. The quote-unquote popsicle interviews. <laughs> Mick just sliding down the banister. It's such a Mickey move. The part where Mick's like, send in Schwartz, Harold B. Like, the way that he says it is great. And the context is funny. Basically, just watch the episode. <laughs> I really love the part where Mick is like this spy boss that's like training them with the gear and how to be a spy and kind of failing at it. Yakamoto just karate chopping everything. Like he karate chops the pointer stick and the little nubs. Yeah, I'm in a parking lot by the way. My very last class of the semester is today, thank god. Anyways, back on track. I'm almost done. You can tell I can't focus today. It's that weird, just about at the end of the semester, time of year. I love the part where they're just randomly on unicycles. The spies planning to go away. The, the spies planning to go away together is pretty cute, even though it did not happen. You can't hear a nod. That was funny. Boris with his taxi fare. It's like, of course we're spies. I simply forgot my change purse. Peter and his I grow daffodils line. They just randomly start a new dance move because everyone copies one another. And I thought it was funny when they capture Boris the way that like all three of them just sit on his back like in a row. I say all three because most of them sit on Boris's back and then Mike is just standing there next to them. And what's actually on the microphone is the microfilm is pretty funny. I thought it was strange how Davy brought his maracas literally everywhere, like, to the beach and everything. But that's about all for today. Kind of phoning it in, but I'll have a lot more free time come next week. So, and by the way, I'm propping this laptop up on my, like, the dashboard of my car. I thought that would be fine, but it turns out that it was kind of going to fall. So... I'm like also propping it up with my foot. So <laughs> the things I do for a video. I will see you next week, hopefully in a better mood. Um, bye.